Uh, again, this is Cleveland Plumbing Industry, CPI, coming with some uh, plumbing helpful tips for your household and businesses. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit uh, about how the actual bowl of the water closet works and what goes on in here, so it'll help you explain a little bit what's going on when you're having troubles with your water closets. Um, basically, this is your classic reverse gravity trap for a water closet. So, in previous videos we talked about a tank being up here where the water comes down. This is the seal that the water actually goes through and then feeds into the, the bowl. So some of that water is diverted up top here and it creates that swirl effect as it goes around the, the actual water closet. And then some of the water actually gets dumped into this trap. And as this water starts to fill up here and fill up here, it creates a negative pressure and creates a vacuum that actually pulls and actually vacuums the contents of the bowl out into the drainage system out of your house or your home or business. Uh, some common problems that happen with this, uh, sometimes these holes get clogged up. Um, you, generally, that's not the major issue, but the calcium and things like that, or if you're in a hard water area, that will uh, clog those up. You can just take a little bit of a, like a, I want to say a, a wire of some sort like that and pick them up there and kind of open up those holes. But the majority of the problem where things happen is somebody's trying to flush something that they shouldn't be flushing down the water closet. And it gets stuck in all these turns. As you can see, there's a lot of turns to get through that. And these are designed specifically to do this so that it actually creates that vacuum so that it sucks the contents out of that bowl. That's why there's so much here. It would just be a whole lot easier if this was a straight drop or things of that nature. Uh, this also creates a water seal. As water sits here, all of this is sitting in underwater. And what happens is any of the sewer gas or the smell gas that will come up through the sewer gets stopped by this water. So if your, your tank is not holding, or your bowl is not holding all of the water seal here, what will happen is, is the sewer gas will come up through here and you start to get that sewer smell. So this is the, the trap area. So the reason all this is so designed this way is to basically pull any of the contents out of the bowl and then also stop sewer gas from coming in. So if you have children, you have, you know, uh, in a business or an industrial type setting, what happens is people try to flush things that they shouldn't flush down there. So that could be a G.I. Joe figure, or that could be um, a lot of paper towels or something of that nature. And generally, this isn't a very big area to get any solid matter through, so they get jammed up. So first thing anybody ever does when they have an overflow toilet or have a problem flushing is they take their plastic plunger. And as you plunge this down and you push, you're pushing air, you're trying to push that obstruction through this area to get it down and out through so that the water can flow freely. What happens a lot of times is if you do this a few times and it doesn't actually clear the obstruction, you're going to have to go to a, uh, a snake or a toilet auger that they call. And what that is is a wire that actually goes through here and you can spin that wire around and it'll try to clear and push any obstruction out and through. If that doesn't happen, uh, in extreme cases sometimes things get jammed or lodged in here, you have to then remove this tank from the actual floor open it up, try to see if you can get to the obstruction through here. If not, then the actual bowl has to be replaced. So stay tuned for more tips from the Plumbing Industry.